The Chicago Police Department tells us as of nine last night, 44 people have been shot this weekend with yeah, 10 now bullet dead. bullet hits a three-year-old child sitting on a sidewalk in Englewood. That shooting as well, injuring six other the gun people. Gun violence has taken the life of Los Angeles rapper Nipsey Hussle. Yeah. Why they wishing murder, death, kill on a black man? Murder, death, kill on a black man. Murder, death, kill on a black man. Murder, death, kill on a yeah. black man. Why they wishing murder, death, kill on a black man? Murder, death, kill on a black man. Murder, death, kill on a black man. Murder, death, kill on a yeah. black man. Question, is your boyfriend in love with your child? I'm going to ask it again. Is your boyfriend in love with your child? Because nowadays... It's not child molestation anymore. It's you knew what you was doing. You knew better. Is the wave that's being pushed. As a people, we are in serious trouble. Let me say this to y'all, right? I don't know too many females that wasn't taken advantage of raped and molested at a young age. I don't know too many females that wasn't taken advantage of by a family member, a uncle, the mother's boyfriend, a grandfather. Raping child molestation has never been funny. Not even the slightest bit. I've never been in jail or never been around dudes in jail that thought it was funny when they heard the screams of a grown man being raped in jail, because that happens too, and never being in jail or on the streets, have we sat back and laughed at a grown man being raped. So now you take my situation of me being a 12 year old that was molested multiple times as a child, by different people. And you have so many grown men. On social media. Making videos. Making fun. Talking about. I knew what I was doing. You knew what she was doing. Ladies I need for you to understand this. You are the protector. Of the children. Because most of these men running around. Are wearing the shoes of cowards. And most of these men running around. Are the ones. Who played the, the, the role of Nicki Minaj's brother. You know like what he did to his wife's child. Thank God the jury found him guilty. She was 12 years old. And he whispered dangerous words in her ears. And he told her. If you don't put it in your vagina. I'm going to try to put it back in your butt. It's what that grown man said to that little girl. So when you listen, you need to listen carefully at the laughs. When you see somebody in tears at a grown man as he took advantage of a 12-year-old me, and you see these men joining into these conversation and he, 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 ha, 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 understand something. You are looking in, in the eyes of evil. The laughter that you hear, you hear is of the jinn, of the devil. That is not normal. So you better be careful or who you let in your circle because there's nothing funny. Even with two men that's grown, mounting each other. It says in, in Islam, it says that when two men mount each other, the heavens shake in fear of God's wrath. Even with two men, grown men mounting each other, it's nothing funny about that. It's more of a frowned upon look in an ill in your face like ill. 
when you see these men making a mockery and making fun of the pains of the victims and laughing, understand those are the same ones that I have coffee and bacon, eggs, and cheese after then I took advantage of your daughter before she went to school while you was out at work. This is not a laughing matter. This is why these cats do what they do. Pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. Watch who you let in your house around your children. Pay attention to the dudes that sit up there and say to a child, even at the age of 16 and 17, which I was 12 years old, and it stopped around 15. Everybody know this, but these older dudes who ain't never had a conversation with Africa Bambada, not one time, keep narrating my life and telling my story, but nevertheless, never held the man accountable for raping a thousand little boys, never put him on the hot seat, but they made jokes of it as child molestation is on the way to being legalized. This is what they want, people. And the sad part about it is you have black people that blame white people for this. When in all actuality, I see black people the most making a mockery and thinking that this is funny. Ladies, you have an obligation to work twice as hard to protect your children from the evils that lurks in your bedrooms at nighttime because you open up the door for these wicked dudes that have a craving and a lust for blood of your child, of your children. Evil lurks in the bedrooms of your children at nighttime. And a lot of the times that man that you in love with in love with your child. Evil is the way. Sometimes y'all need to sit back and pay attention to these men in the comment section on YouTube or social media. See how they feel about these teenagers. Because at some point your child will be a teenager. And at 13 years, at, at 13 years old, Will your man be the dude talking about while you was at work, your daughter was in her panties, washing the dishes, and her ass was looking padal? And then he got an excuse where well, you cursed him out so you know your daughter was looking good. Sad part about it is a lot of y'all females don't know. A lot of these young boys that just wake up one day and that's going ape fool shit in the streets. They go and ape fool shit in the streets because you don't even know there was a grown man that got them. And how are they going to tell you that? They can't even live with it. They're not gay. That is the hardest thing in the world to do is to tell your parent or to tell anybody that a grown man mounted you or did anything to you in such fashion. So the anger builds up and then you be wondering why them young boys in the street running ape fool shit. That's the secret. Do you know how many brothers came to me and told me, yo, Haas, I couldn't have do, I couldn't have did what you did. I couldn't have said what you said. Do y'all really understand that? That was the hardest thing in the world to do. And the easiest thing for a coward to do is laugh. Where I come from, we don't laugh at child molestation. We don't laugh at rape. We don't even laugh. When two gay men get together, we get disgusted and say, ill. it's not funny. When dudes laugh and they secretly like it, it's nothing funny about it. That's not our style. That's not how we get down coming from where I'm from. But then again, that's the furthest thing from the truth. That shit is spreading like a cancer. It's everywhere. It's from where you from. It's from where I'm from. It's from where everybody's from. Ladies, protect your children at all costs. Protect your children at all costs. Because these men out here, they'll be sitting up there explaining to the judge and the lawyer and they man's on a block about how your child wanted it. She knew what she was doing. He knew what he was doing. 
The law says lock him up. The block says he knows he knows what he was doing. Don't find yourself crying and heartbroken for those who care about their children because you let a predator in your midst and you didn't know what you was dealing with. The enemy is lurking right in your child's bedroom. I'm out.